It's time for Metal Detecting Season 3, Episode 6. Let's do it. Okay, I'm getting multiple high tones up in this area. Yeah, blaring, no doubt. Let's dig. First find of the day. Got a copper penny, 1975 Philadelphia. Next target. Okay, literally, I was just filling in this hole I look right in this crevice over here and I find a dime. There's a nail over here that I pulled out. Uh, this dime is 1994 Philadelphia. Sweet. Let's move on. Surface find number two, baby. We just got a quarter out of here. Eagle back. 1985 Philadelphia. Let's go. All right, next. All right, I'm getting a bit of a deeper high tone here. I'll still dig for this one, but I might be at this one for a few minutes. All right, the hole is way over there, but uh, got our second dime of the day. It's like 2006 Philadelphia. So, uh, yeah, didn't take as long as I thought it would, but had to resort to using the uh, trusty sand sifter over here. <laughs> Anyways, I'll fill in the hole and move on to our next target. Just got our next surface find and we got a, uh, looks like a Jefferson modified nickel. 2013 Philadelphia. And this was literally just recently dropped. All right, let's move on to our next target. All right, I'm getting a much deeper high tone this time. I had to turn my sensitivity up just to get it on the pinpointer mode, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig for this one. This one's probably gonna take a good while. All right, this one took a little longer than the other dime hole, but uh, got ourselves another dime. Looks like 2007 Philadelphia, maybe? Yeah, 2007. Sweet. All right, fill in that big hole and move on to our next target. All right. I'm getting a semi-consistent high tone. It does ring up iron a little bit, but that's more consistent. Right there. All right. Let's dig. The hole. Well, I know what I'm going to do with this. I, I, I guess this wasn't a failure after all, even after I just yeeted the bottle cap. It's the same hole. We found a 2015 Philadelphia. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. That, that's probably the best metal detecting moment ever on my channel. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, let's fill in this hole for real this time. Day two. All right, I'm just out here for a quick second day. Got a high tone. That's the hole. And got a nice 1969 copper penny. That'll be going in the copper stack. All right, let's move on to our next target, if there are any more.
day three. All right, out here for a third day. And first find of the third day is a 2003 Philadelphia Dime. All right, let's move on to our next target. All right, second high tone of day three. Not picking it up very clear. All right, we'll dig this one up. Okay, for a second there, I thought my uh, detector was falsing because of the metal caging inside of the concrete. But we did get our second dime of the day. It's gonna be in 1995, Philadelphia. So let's move on to the next target. All right, I just dug up. Uh, I just dug up another high tone, and that rock right there caused me a lot of trouble for a penny. Focus. 2004, Philadelphia and it is corroded over like crazy. Focus. All right, well, let's move on to our next target. All right, over here, I've already filled in the hole. Right next to the, uh, the big rock penny, we got another penny. It's still a zinc penny. This time we got a 1985. So, yeah, let's move on to the next target, shall we? All right, guys, I am getting a blaring high tone over here. Pinpointer's not reading anything super accurately, but... You know, we know there's a good tone down here, a good target. Right here. Probably the most promising spot right here. So let's dig. Okay, guys, so we got a first ever, and it's not really that good of a first ever. There's the hole. Got another penny, but this time, oh wait, there is a date. Oh hey, there we go. I can get it on the camera. Looks like 1994 Denver. Yeah, I'm gonna guess this is a 1994 out of Denver. So I see what looks like a D-mint mark right there. So, yeah, let's go. Alright, so I guess it's not a first ever after all. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next target. All right, I was picking up on a pretty inconsistent high tone, but all for the better, I guess. Found a 1988 zinc penny. I guess I can't find my copper pennies today. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to our next target, and hopefully we can hit another spill. All right, picked up a pretty consistent high tone over here and found myself a 2016 shield penny. Is that a mint mark? Yeah, it is a mint mark. It's got a Denver. Okay, that's my first one of those I've found out here. A shield penny with a mint mark. All right, that'll probably be it for today. So yeah. All right, guys, that is going to do it for Metal Detecting Season 3. Also, I do apologize for the uh, the bad lighting. Um, but yeah, tune in next year, hopefully, uh, for Season 4 of Metal Detecting. Pretty much going to be in the same place from now on. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, link will be in the description down below. And if you want to check out my other channels, links are also in the description. Until next time, currency collectors and metal detectors, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.